You're about to watch a video from some clients of mine, Denise and Sterling. They came to me with a plan. I helped them implement the plan of, of right sizing. Their, their home had a pool. It was, you know, two story. They wanted to downsize into something smaller and more affordable because they also have a second home. We implemented their plan. They're very, you're going to see that they're very happy with the decision that they made and they're in their new home and their planning is over. They're done. All I can tell you is at some point we all are going to have to right size or downsize, whether it's our parents, our aging parents, or us. The bottom line is make a plan or a strategy now. Don't wait until there's a financial crisis or a health crisis before you start doing this and limit your decisions. Now enjoy the video with, with the Yorks. Um, well, I want to start out just by saying, you know, what made you guys decide that you wanted to downsize or right size? I guess because um, we got to a certain point in our life where our children were leaving and moving out, and we kind of outgrew, or our house outgrew us. And so we were ready to basically downsize and not have this huge house and be able to, like, pretty much get ready for our retirement and, and get ready to be able to play a little bit. Right. Be able to hunt, be with the kids and do things with the kids more outside the house. And right. So we just kind of thought it would be best if we found a smaller home. Yeah. So we started the whole process. You know, once that happened, Sterling, uh, what what was one of the biggest concerns for you as far as like the whole the whole idea of the whole thing? You know? Well, you know, i you know, Keith, we've known you for maybe a couple years before we actually decided to use you as our real estate right. agent uh, and decided to go with you on a recommendation from another good friend of ours. And um, and so there's always a concern of a, a, a new realtor. Sure. And uh, you were very upfront with what you wanted to do, how you wanted to market our house, uh, the price you wanted to go at, and pretty bold guarantee that we'd probably get more than asking price of what we're asking for well i know sterling you'd mentioned that you were a little concerned about having to move twice you know what i mean and t tell me how, how everything worked out as far as that goes you know well it was uh because of the, the quick sale yeah. at home um, <coughs> we were already actively going out with you almost on a daily yeah. bit looking for um looking for uh homes we put in bids on several homes over asking and we were getting outbid so we were really kind of freaking out as far as oh no we're not going to find something within our budget we set it we set a ceiling of how much we wanted to spend we do have another home that we we have up in tahoe so that was another big push to get into something a little smaller because we were supporting two mortgages and we wanted to get right our mortgage payments down so as denise mentioned so that we could go out and play and uh and with the kids moving out of the house it was time to do it and um it was a little nerve-wracking uh keith was very positive never gave up yeah never gave up he said well let's look at these have you looked at these how about we go looking at this and um i must say we were about ready to just give up because yeah, we were um, ready to move to tahoe i was going to find a job up there he yeah. was going to commute <laughs> yeah and uh we walked into this place we've seen it online but we had actually looked at it we walked into this place and we liked the layout of the house it, it was uh, very workable for doing a little remodel and getting it the way we wanted it and um but we're also a little down on being outbid on everything that we went in at so uh we just looked at keith and said we're gonna offer him this we won't ask him to do anything to the house and see what happens Right. In closing, is there anything else that you'd like to say about the way things went or anything I, like that? I would. One okay. thing that I was very impressed with is uh, Keith wasn't only our realtor, but he's also our mortgage broker. And that made it very convenient and very comforting because he is also able to broker the mortgage of the buyers of our house. Uh, he was able to keep us informed on, keep us in touch on how things were rolling and give us that confidence that everything was going to go through and that was a very comfortable feeling mm -hmm. yeah, that we i don't think i've ever respect. had in any other real estate transaction thank you sterling yeah. i appreciate that i really do something you like kicked ass every time you wouldn't leave me alone <laughs> harassed her day in day, day out. out we gotta go look at how did you look at Let's your go. emails i sent you <laughs> <laughs>
Hi. I... Oh, that's good. We saved that.